chapter. Amen. Amen. Lawlessness. Yes. Yeah. I know. I know I'm preaching because I don't get a lot of amen. <laughs> I get scared when people stand up. Forever. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me finish. It said that with all, uh, I'm in the B clause of 10. Because they perceive not the love of truth that they might be what? Saved. You notice that? You notice that then now it went from him who's doing the working of Satan to they. So it went from one to many. Oh, y'all missed that. It said, with all the seemingness of unrighteousness in them, because they perceive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God should send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned, who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. I'm going to explain all this next week. I know, I know, I know, I, I, I feel like a fire hydrant this morning anyway, I just want, if it gets on you, praise the Lord, but if it don't, like, a, who was that, uh, Doug uh, Fortune said, if it don't get it in you, it get on you, that's like a fire hydrant, and you know, and I'm talking a lot, but I'm going to break it down next Sunday, but I can put it all in a few packages, put a little bowl on it, all right? This lets us know that the man of sin, that's the conversation in this chapter, right? The man of sin, the mystery of iniquity, cannot be revealed except there be a fallen away. Except there be a group of people who love unrighteousness. A group of people that opposes God. They exalt themselves above God. Now this is in his temple. And those that have been named, those that call upon the name of the Lord, yep. Yep. it's in his temple, it's among his people, wow. that we are hard in between two opinions. Yes. Mm. It's the issue, it's all about worship. Mm -hmm. Are we going to let him be front and center? Yeah. Is he going to be head of our lives? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to dissect only he will let till he be taken out of the way. We need the man of sin to be taken out of the way. Only he will let till he let till he be taken out of the way is talking about Christ. He's the restrainer. Until the Father gets done with what he's doing in the people. But he's given us an opportunity. That's why we're not to be soon shaken by spirit, word, or letter. The falling away has to happen. The tears have to happen. He told them in John, 1 John, John said, the day that was of us stayed. Oh, come on, let me show you. Let me show you two places. Let me just show you. Y'all know, uh, this ain't even my notes. Because well, y'all need witnesses and testimonies, and I got some scholars in here. Y'all got one eye on me and another. Let me just show you some other different way. Yeah. Let's go to First Corinthians uh, eleven. I'm going to close. I, no, for there, then I got one more of the place. Y'all all right? What is going to be? This might be good to save after this. First Corinthians eleven and seventeen. Let's go. We look at scripture how? Christologically. Right? Paul wrote to Corinth, but it's, a, it's still applicable for us. Can we say that? Verse 17. Now, in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not that you come, that you come together not for the better, but for the worse. Boy. For the first of all, when you come together in the church, I hear that there were divisions among you, and I probably believe you're talking about the Lord's Supper. But look at what he said in 19. For there must be also errors among you, that they which are approved may be manifest among you. Did y'all catch that? Oh, I'm not only saying one in the building. He said, 
There has to be Rome. It's the same concept. They must grow up together. Why God allows certain things in churches so that those who are approved can manifest, can be plain. That's why sometimes things happen in the church. God may not have me root out everything. He just let me know, say, they ain't with you. You ain't got to say nothing to them. You can love on them. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 I'm sorry, y'all. God, God, you know. Jesus didn't clean out his crew. Am I right? He let him hang around. But he said, the prince of this world coming is going to find that enemy. That's where I'm going to. Well, I can hang around people that just got my best interest, but the prince of so this world can't touch this. I'm going to guard my heart with all diligence. I'm building long term. First Corinthians 2. Uh, uh, first John. Yeah, first John too. Thank you. See, that's why. First John. Uh, uh, oh, 18. This is gonna help you too. This might. This is. This is a uh, an appetizer for all the Antichrist people that are still in the building. Verse 18. Little children, it is the last time. Now, when is the last time? Whenever John penned this. Okay. First John. Y'all there? 218. Y'all don't want to admit it. Huh? That's what it is. <laughs> Sign on that one, but that's what your Bible says. It says, Look, children, it is the last time. It was the last time then. Yeah. How did we make it all the way 2,000 years later? Yeah. Yeah. He said, It is the last time. And as you have heard that the Antichrist shall come, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Hold it, Elizabeth. <laughs> Even now, are they many Antichrists? We wait on one. He says, There's a whole bunch of them suckers. They're everywhere. They're too many to count. We waiting on the last time. The last time ain't in my future. The last time is in my past. <laughs> Even now are there many antichrists whereby we know that it's the last time. So he says in the beginning of the A clause and the B clause. <laughs> he said you get a twist, it's the last time. So, you know, we got some folks like that today. You, you, how many times do you need to say last time? And many times. <laughs> Verse 19. <laughs> that they, they went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. So we worry when people leave. Mm -hmm. I want to go find out and call them and see why they love. <laughs> no, no, no. Find out from here. Not right, not right. Not right. If they hadn't been with us, they'd never have left. Yeah. I don't need to try to figure out why folks leave. That's right. These things must happen so we can find those who are approved. Yeah. You know, God works with those who get it. Yeah. I'll work with those who get it. <laughs> But we sit here second guessing. Yeah. Mm. Who's next? <laughs> but if you don't get your heart right, you next. <laughs> it's a heart issue. It ain't a head issue. It's a heart issue. People leave because of heart issues. That's right. Yes. Yeah. I may have messed a few minds up, but I ain't did nobody hard. I haven't done anything to anybody hard. Right. Well, they did. <laughs> I may intrude on your airspace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all you know, caught that, huh? Airhead. <laughs> airspace. All right, let me close. I feel that it's coming. But I'm serious, guys. We're gonna, next week, we'll talk about the brightness of this coming. We need an epiphany, because that's what the word means. We need an epiphany. And an epiphany could happen every time we sit before the Lord. Every, right now, tonight, today. The epiphany was happening. All, let me tell you, I seen lights. When I was ministering, I seen lights. It ain't because I got these glasses on. I seen lights in some of your thinking. It's like, wow. 
And I felt the liberty and I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. But if you got any skepticism, any second guessing, that's cool. I'm cool with that. There's no problem. So it takes a little bit for it to sink down in your ears. Yeah. But before you write it out, go study it. Yeah. I gave you yeah. enough yeah. to strengthen your resolve yeah. to be act responsibly yeah. with the truth that I've given to you. Okay? Yeah. But God wants to do something in us. Yes. You want God to do something for you? Yeah. Don't get don't it's the trap. I want God to do something in me first. So when he brings something to me, I'll be able to say that ain't for me. Because it doesn't agree with what he's doing in me. He's stuck, man. He's stuck. Father, we bless you. We thank you for this word on this morning. Thank you for what you're doing in our hearts. What an awesome time. Even as uh, we'll be discovering the, the perusia your presence permeates this building. It's, I can feel it. That the spirit of counsel and might and wisdom and understanding, knowledge and the fear of the Lord is here. The seven spirits is here to bring understanding to us. Because ignorance has not been a bliss for the church. It has destroy generations and I pray that you will raise up a people in this generation that will not allow the rod of the wicked to rest on the lot of the righteous that will make up their minds that we will study and allow you to break the seal to open the scrolls to remove the scales to circumcise our heart and our ears. Whatever the word needs to do in us, whatever your spirit needs to bring to complement what the word is, that's being spoken needs to bring. And we thank you for that perfect unity, that harmony that only those two can bring as we grow up in our faith. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.